Hello guys, Croft is here. After 14 years since the events of Avatar of 2009, Jake Sully's family has gotten surprisingly big and it could be confusing if you haven't recently watched the original movie or the new trailers. In Avatar The Way of Water, Jake and Neytiri now have 5 kids since the battle for the Tree of Souls, 2 adopted and 3 biological. And in this video I'll explain the entire Sully family tree including all of their kids and some other family members that most people probably forgot about. I think the reason James Cameron made Sully's family so big is because the franchise will be intertwined with family drama like it happened in many other franchises like Star Wars for example. So let's start with Jake Sully himself who was born on Earth on August 24th, 2126. Since he did not have any interest in sciences, he joined the Marines. However, while serving in Venezuela, he suffered a terrible spinal injury and was paralyzed from the waist down. On the other hand, his twin brother Tom Sully was a scientist with PhD honors participating in the Avatar program on Pandora. A huge corporation, RDA, grew an artificial Na'vi human hybrid for Tom, but he was tragically killed by a thief who tried to steal his wallet, which is why RDA recruited Jake. The avatar body grown for Tom can only be operated by someone with the same DNA as him, therefore, to avoid losing a substantial investment, RDA recruited Jake to take his brother's place. After arriving on Pandora, Jake operates the artificially grown avatar body and tries to become one of Na'vi in order to make them cooperate with RDA. However, Jake Sully falls in love with Neytiri, the daughter of the clan leaders. Her full name is Neytiri Tatshaha Moyeite, she's the princess of the Matikaya clan and is chosen to be the future Tsaik, the spiritual leader of the clan. After meeting Jake and teaching him the ways of Na'vi for three months, they fall in love and mate under the Tree of Voices, one of the most sacred places for Na'vi, which makes them mated for life. Neytiri actually had a sister, Silwanin, with whom she attended Dr. Gray's school to learn English and human culture. Neytiri was the best student, however, after RDA soldiers killed Silwanin right in front of Neytiri, she and all the other Na'vi abandoned the schoolhouse and the clan leaders banned humans from the Amatikaya clan. The only reason they allowed Jake to join is because of the sign from Ewa. Itukan is Neytiri's father, which makes him Jake's father-in-law. He's the former clan leader of the Amatikaya clan and he was tragically killed by humans in the RDA's attack of the home tree. Neytiri's mother, Moat, is the spiritual leader of the clan and the mate of Itukan, which also makes her Jake's mother-in-law. Moat also has a role of a shaman who can interpret and communicate with Ewa, a deity of Pandora, which means that Neytiri also has some of the same abilities and we might see them in Avatar 2. At the end of the original movie, Moat played a huge role in transferring Jake's soul from the human body into his avatar through Ewa, which is kind of a biological neural network connecting all life forms on Pandora, however, it's still not completely clear what it actually is. Then, 14 years after the events of the first movie, it's not clear if Moat is still alive. However, Jake and Neytiri are presumably the leaders of the Amatikaya clan and they have a total of 5 kids, 2 adopted and 3 biological. Neytayem is their firstborn child, however, we only see him in a couple of scenes in the trailer and we won't really get familiar with him until the movie comes out. Neytayem is likely the next in line to be the future clan leader, however, this may not happen, considering multiple theories about him dying in the way of water, but we won't get into these theories in this video. Loak is the second born son of Jake and Neytiri and from the trailer we know that there will be a love storyline between him and Sireya, the daughter of the Ocean Clan leaders, so possibly in Avatar 3, Jake and Neytiri will become grandparents. In addition, many Na'vi see Loak as an outcast as shown in the trailer because he has faint eyebrows and five fingers on each of his hands like avatars. All Pandora natives only have four fingers on each hand and almost no eyebrows. Loak is Jake's biological son and Jake has an avatar body which is a hybrid between Na'vi and human. 
So Loak inherited some of the human genome, resulting to him having five fingers instead of four. Generally, avatars except Jake have a stigma associated with them since Na'vi know that they are controlled by humans and even often call them demons. Which brings us to Jake's adopted daughter Kiri who also has five fingers. She was born on Pandora but her birth is veiled in mystery. Kiri's human features may be the result of Dr. Gray's reincarnation through Awa, all mother of Pandora. In the original Avatar, after death, Dr. Grace became a part of Awa, which also acts as a hive mind of Pandora where all beings return after death, only to be reborn again in the future. Since Kiri's face and even voice have a striking similarity to Grace Augustine, she is in some way related to Dr. Grace. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, James Cameron actually explained that Kiri was born from Dr. Gray's avatar, which is his exact quote. In the original movie, Dr. Gray's avatar was perfectly intact, however, it raises a question, who is Kiri's father? Since we don't know everything about Na'vi mating, the other parent can actually be Awa itself, which would lead to a number of different theories about Awa and Kiri. It would also explain why Kiri appears to have an intrinsic bond with Old Mother of Pandora and have an easier time interfacing with her. The fourth child in the Sully family is Miles Sokora with the nickname Spider. He is a human but raised as a Na'vi, which is why his body is painted in blue stripes but he has to wear an exopack to breathe. We primarily see him in the teaser trailer and he appears to play a crucial role in the events of Avatar 2, which we'll get to in just a bit. Miles is an adopted child who was born on Pandora in the human colony base operated by RDA called Hell's Gate. As of right now, we don't know much about this character except the fact that his mother, Paz Sokora, was killed by Na'vi in the battle for the Tree of Souls. Most humans were banned from Pandora and sent back home, but because he was an orphan and had nobody to return to on Earth, Jake took him as one of his kids. However, Naitiri never accepted him as a part of their family. Here is what the producer of Avatar 2 said about Miles. Jake took him in, but Naitiri always saw him as one of the people who destroyed her home and killed her father. Therefore, there is this interesting dynamic in the family where Jake has more sympathy towards Miles since he is a human just like Jake was at some point. However, the rejection of Neytiri who is supposed to be his mother may be the reason Miles ends up betraying his family and Na'vi. There is a scene in the trailer where avatars are ascending to the helicopter and one of them is carrying Miles who appears to leave willingly, suggesting that he might be working with humans. Another scene in the trailer pretty much confirms that he is a traitor or at least helps humans to defeat the Na'vi. In this scene it looks like the ocean tribe just lost a battle to humans as a result of a major airstrike. Also in the background we can see Metkayin and Na'vi being held hostage on their knees by armed avatars. Upon zooming in we can also see Miles walking freely among them as if he was on the side of humans. Therefore there is a really high chance that Miles will feel rejected by Na'vi and most importantly by his mother which would lead him to join humans. I really think that Colonel Miles Corridge will sort of manipulate Miles into telling them the location of the Ocean Tribe which will lead to this airstrike. The fifth and youngest child in Jake's and Neytiri's family is Taktairi, their only biological daughter. In the trailer we see her arriving to the Mitkaina clan location and in the scene in which Neytiri tries to escape the sinking ship with her. Taktairi may have been kidnapped since on other shots in the trailer we see avatars holding Jake's kids hostage on a ship. So just to recap, Jake Sully and Neytiri are the leading couple in the franchise. Jake had a twin brother Tom and Neytiri had a sister Silwanin. Neytiri's parents are Itukan and Moat, however Jake's parents are unknown. Jake had three kids with Neytiri, the oldest son Neytayam, the second son Lowak, and the youngest daughter Taktairi. 
They also adopted two other kids, Kiri, a Pandora native, and a human orphan, Miles Socorro. So this appears to be the full family tree of Jake and Neytiri for now, unless some other family members will be revealed in Avatar 2. Thank you guys for watching, like this video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Avatar content. My name is Croft, and I'll see you in the next video.